Hello YouTube model building community. Jim coming at you here. I uh, just wanted to give a little update about what I've been doing. I haven't posted anything in quite a while and uh, been very busy at work, a lot going on. But uh, I haven't stopped building any models. I'm still still kicking at it. And uh, I was trying to get some models ready for the Atlanta show coming up. But uh, some things haven't come in on time and uh, it's taken a while for them to get here. So I'm not going to be able to make it. Uh, to put these in the in the show so uh, what I was working on here was the uh, 66 uh, Chevy El Camino uh, two-in-one by Ravel uh, pretty nice kit pretty well uh, detailed uh, I painted this uh, Tamiya red and uh, I also ordered the from um, I think it's a uh, model car garage the uh, photo etched uh, parts I don't know if you can see it here the El Camino logo and then uh, he got the keyhole and then the uh, the uh, flags there, the Chevy flags. But uh, all in all, I buffed it out quite a bit. Uh, had a couple of mistakes happen where uh, I used some tack cloth on it and it left residue uh, from the tack cloth. And uh, some of the wax from the tack cloth got on it. I had to scrub it all off uh, with some Dawn dish soap and... Uh, you know, reprimed it again, sanded it down a couple times to get it to get it to come out a little bit better. Uh, sprayed it out with uh, my airbrush gun, and uh, it came out decent. I sanded that down and put like four coats of uh, Tamiya Clear on there, um, and then buffed it out with the Detail Master kit, uh, the the sandpaper, the, all the stages of sandpaper, and some uh, Carnuba wax. I use. Uh, some of the Meguiar's uh, Carnuba wax to uh, do the final buffing with, but uh, yeah, it was uh, the paint was a little troublesome, and uh, I hit a couple of low spots where I went too far on uh, sanding it down. But uh, I taped it all up, repainted it. I must have painted this thing about three times, uh, but it, it seems to be coming out okay. I still have to do the hood, and. Uh, I did the engine here. I uh, wired it up uh, according to the uh, the engine type. Uh, used the Detail Master uh, distributor and wired it up accordingly. I still got some more work to do on it, and uh, made the little boots. I don't know if you can see it there. I'll see if I can get it in there. Uh, made some little spark plug wire boots uh, and some the boots for the wires. I just uh, stripped a smaller die or a little bit larger diameter than the wires and cut them to little pieces and glued them onto the wire but the it it's working out all right i was waiting for the uh the pulleys for this set and never uh came in on time i'm still waiting on those and i was going to enter this in the atlanta show but uh it didn't show up on time so uh i guess that will be for another show um been working on that and uh trying to get my Super B here done. Uh, I've been working on this for quite some time, uh, on and off. Um, changed the decals. I don't know. I had to post another video where I uh, had a different decal. I think this looked a lot better. I stripped it off, uh, rebuffed and sanded it down, and uh, you know put these decals on. I think it looks a lot better with these on there than the ones that uh, I had on there originally. But uh, I was trying to get this done for the show, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to to uh, finish that either. Um, I just got too many projects going on, but, uh, and also, uh, I've been working on the 1950 Chevy pickup, uh, bought a, uh, the lower chassis kit off of someone for eBay for five bucks. I thought that was uh, a pretty good deal, but, uh, all in all, I'm, I'm really excited and, uh, looking forward to meeting a lot of you all at the Atlanta show, uh, made the reservations way ahead of time, um, Super stoked about uh, seeing everybody, and and I was gonna enter my uh, 1932 uh, Ford Hot Rod I have. That was one of my car I posted in my very first video. Um, it's like a burnt orange color. That was the first video I ever did on YouTube. I'm thinking about entering that in the show just to enter something. Um, I don't do a whole lot of shows because I don't think my stuff is. 
up to that kind of quality. I, I love building models just for me. Uh, I have built models for other people in the past. Um, more sci-fi stuff than in airplanes than cars. But uh, I just never thought I've had anything that was show worthy. I'm, as many years as I've been building, I'm still I'm still learning. But uh, all in all, this is uh, what I've got going on. I'm still still here, uh, hoping to still see everybody in the community uh, when I get to Atlanta, and and I hope everybody has a safe trip. And uh, we'll see you this coming weekend. Take care. Bye bye.